Look at her get comfy. Look at her. On, are you getting ready to den? Are you getting ready to have your baby? You guys, this is so exciting. I'm so glad that she seems to like the tunnel we made for her because she is going to have a panda cub. Yes, our very first panda cub. One of the very, in fact, the very first birth of an endangered species here in Zudesia Zoo. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of so much adventure. Oh, all right, you guys. Well, welcome back. Look at how happy she is now. Like everything is perfect for her. Everything is going well in An's life. She has been with us the very first animal we ever added in. She's been with us for so long. She's ready to have a baby. She even has a mate now named Dee Dee. She still has, hopefully she'll have another baby before she becomes an elder now that she has a mate. Not like they mate for life or anything, but I think she seems fairly content. I'm, I'm just, I love her. I love her and I'm so happy with how things have gone. But all right guys, so welcome back to Zudesia Zoo. And we are, and I'm gonna go, ah, I'm stuck and why am I stuck? I think I got myself stuck under a cliff there. Look at this, our bamboo mountain range is so beautiful. I am so proud about what we've accomplished. I love how the flamingos are just flapping about and having a grand time down here too. I think that they're doing pretty well. Yeah, they're 100% happy. Now that we have maxed this stuff out too, we could just give them better nutrition for sure. We should definitely up the nutrition on all of our animals. And I do believe we can do that really easily. All we need to do is we need to click on the habitat, then you go over to the animals, and then you change what quality of feed to give them. So we're at grade quality one right now, and we have researched with Miss Rose, our wonderful resident researcher and veterinarian, all the way through for what giant greater flamingos have and what giant pandas have. So we can go ahead and increase how much food that they get. It looks like they're pretty happy. They don't have enough bedding, so they need a little bit more bedding. But otherwise, they're happy with all of their enrichment items. They're not bored of them yet. And then we're going to, of course, increase the food for our pandas, which is pretty expensive. But I know that we're definitely going to need that. Look at them. So happy. All right. And these guys are doing good. They don't have enough feeders, but otherwise, they're really happy. They could have a little bit more toy enrichment, but we want to be careful to rotate the enrichment out for sure, or else they can get bored of it pretty quickly. Oh, this is so great. This is, this is so great. But all right, so Ann is going to have her baby in September or in August, which is like any minute now. Oh, and we completed a zoo challenge? Yay, for adopting habitat species, nice. So she's gonna have her baby like any minute now, which is very exciting. And I was trying to think about how to celebrate. And yes, we could celebrate by actually getting at some more of our animals out of storage. By the way, while you guys were gone, I got a little bit ahead of myself, got really excited, and I found Japanese macaques and an okapai on the trade center for cash. So I kind of adopted them and we need to give them a home too. But I have ideas for that, friends. We are gonna start adding in the new animals once On has her baby and we get the panda shrine up and going. I am so excited. So I thought, why don't we have it so our guests can come down. They're gonna come under the bridge. Uh, they're gonna come around here. And what they're going to do is they're going to be able to see the panda exhibit from the back. We'll put in feeders and a bunch of things to attract the animals to this side as well. And then we're going to have a little mountain right here with a path leading up to the top. And we're going to build a panda shrine. And every time we have a new panda born or added in, we will add a new panda figure to the panda shrine. And what panda figure am I talking about? Well, it's kind of dark. I need to add in some lights. Spoilers, I know how to do that now. <laughs> But there are actually these really cute centerpieces. They're little wooden pandas. So I think we should celebrate the additional arrival of pandas to our Zudesia Zoo by building a mountain covered in cherry blossoms and bamboo with a path leading up to the shrine at the top. Maybe we'll even put a little merchandise item up there so that people will be tempted to go and shop while we're at it. And then we will have one new statue and we will rename the statue after the animals so we will forever remember that they were here and part of our lives which i love by the way we have researched a lot more of the east asian theme and i am in love with it so we're going to be looking at that too uh oh my gosh wait did we it, the baby was due in august the baby was due in august wait is it august year seven on that's Dee. 
There's on. On. <gasps> That's not on. That's new June. Oh my gosh. We have a child. We have a baby panda. <laughs> This is not a drill. We have a baby panda. Oh, you guys. Oh, I love him. He's so tiny and cute. And this is going to bring so many people to our zoo. Oh, he made the cutest noise. Okay. We have to celebrate the life of our baby panda. And we're actually going to rename this little guy after one of you guys. And we're going to kind of change up how we do the names a little bit because I want to reflect kind of like Dee Dee and An's sort of name theme. And a repetitious name where you have like a, a repeating phrase like Dee Dee is very lucky in like naming animals in Chinese. So we're actually going to use the first letters of Ta Da. Tadaniela. So Tadaniela, we're actually going to rename this little guy Tada Tada. Or how about actually Tata? Okay, if we name him Tata, that's too close of a um, reference to like Tata in our niche adventures. Let's actually rename him Dada. So we have Didi and now we have Dada named after Tadaniela. Thank you so much for your sweet comment and I am so happy that you've been added in as an adorable baby panda who is now confronting grass for the first time. Look at him sniff it. It could be full of like all sorts of spooky things. Oh, he's precious. No, 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 his name is now Dada. There we go. Oh, he's so cute. And it's raining. Oh my gosh. And look, mom is like, where were you? All right, so on's here. Oh my gosh, it's raining. This is so pretty. He races past flamingos. Oh my gosh, and they just have their big pot. Look at how good that food looks now. He's here eating with dad. <gasps> Look at his dad pick up that watermelon to eat on. Oh, and they hate long grass, so I'll go ahead and do them a favor and put in short grass over here so that they can see their food better too. I am watching my panda and his son eat delicious fresh hopefully locally grown produce and bamboo here in the rain next to a bamboo mountain <laughs> dada and didi were hungry <laughs> i'm in love with this Look how beautiful this is. How are flamingos reacting to the rain? This is a lot of rain. Look, we've got more eating over there. Oh, there's our baby flamingo. It takes like two years, I think, for them to become old enough. <gasps> Look at all the umbrellas. We need another information center so that we can sell more umbrellas. Oh, you guys, this is wonderful. I love this so much. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to create Panda Mountain, because I really, really want to celebrate our pandas. I don't want this to get away from us. We could make it a pyramid or a cylinder to just get us started, but I think we'll be okay. We're going to make the size kind of big. The hope is that people can walk up a path on top of this. Here we go. That seems pretty good. I think about there is what I was hoping for. And then let's smooth this out a little bit at the top. And flatten a bit at the bottom. Oh my gosh. There we go. Push down just a teensy bit. Back here. There. All right, and then pull just a little bit on these sides. And we're going to make a way to celebrate Dada and Didi and on for the rest of for the rest of time so we can remember that they were always the first animals who helped us to establish awe and wonder and a healthy budget.
<laughs> to our chisel. Let's see, what happens if I... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm good without chisel. Smooth. That's nice. Flattened surface. Flattened foundation. That's more like it. And then let's get a nice little... Whoops. Okay, actually, that's pretty good. Okay, so this will probably be kind of what we work with. And then we'll smooth it down along the back. I think I'm definitely going to need to pull up at the back, too. Because I don't want to, like, dedicate too much of the space to our Panda Mountain. But I do want to be able to... Yeah, there we go. To get to the top. And then... Flatten to foundation. There. Kind of shave the top off a little bit. Make it a little bigger. Make this a little softer. Smooth this out a lot more. Yes, there we go. And with a little bit more work, we will create Panda Mountain. Is everybody okay? Queen's not feeling very well, huh? Queen, why not? I think she's just in a spot. Oh, she was just in a weird spot. She's feeling better now. All right, so this is going to be Panda Mountain and you may be wondering, okay, okay. So I see what you've got here, but how's it gonna turn out? Well, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do the wood vertical path and what i really want to do we'll do the rustic path at the back here and i want to shrink this down because i want it to kind of feel like you're walking up a bit of a shrine like towards a real shrine so i'm gonna come here and then there we go I want it to feel like you have to go up the stairs. And we're gonna have to play with the terrain just a little bit to make that happen, it seems. And then maybe smooth it out. We can do this. We're gonna make that beautiful Panda Mountain. All right, up, 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 almost there. Too uneven for placement, we're almost there. And then we can adjust the, the terrain under it, I bet, just a bit. Because I want I didn't want a normal path. I wanted to have stairs. So you felt like you had to go up towards a... Towards like a real shrine. Alright, let's shrink this size down a little bit more. Maybe pull this up a little bit. And then... Intersecting terrain. Oh, okay. Just, we're almost there, almost there. It's going to be worth it when I show you guys what it actually looks like. Because the Panda Shrine is ridiculously precious. It already exists. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. And it's going to be dedicated to An and Didi and their children. And it's going to be amazing. And I need the terrain to be smooth. Huzzah! There we go! All right, we have made the path to the top. I am so happy about that. And now we're actually going to come over and I want it to have like no railing, nothing like that, right here. And then it's going to lead to the panda shrine. And now I will show you guys the panda shrine because there is actually a panda shrine that you can unlock with the East Asian, <laughs> uh, with the East Asian blueprints. And it's freaking adorable look at this it even has little smoking teapots how cool is this <laughs> i love it i love it so much so what i want is for people to come up the path they're gonna walk up to the panda shrine and we might even put like a little merchandise thing up here. So if you make it all the way to the top of Panda Mountain, you can go ahead and buy a cute little merchandise piece and make a big fuss about the fact that you were here and you were at An's temple, her little shrine. There. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love it. So we're going to go ahead and name this An's. Uh, the shrine, the shrine of on, the shrine of on, the panda. There we go. There we go. That's so precious. And now we have 
A new zoo challenge. So we need to increase the great panda education rating up to 16%. I am so happy to be on top of that. And we do need to get some more animals in here. I know that for sure. Oh, hey, JV is visiting. Hello, JV. I do not know who you are. Where are you, my friend? You're somewhere in here. Is that you? I think this is JV right here. Hello, JV. We'll say hello and then boom, you get a few more of those points. Nice. But all right, so very happy. Look at our little panda shrine. <laughs> now we can celebrate with our baby panda to our heart's content. That's gonna be amazing. Let's come over and start spreading more of this path too. Cause we're gonna want to have the path branch away and then immediately loop back over here to come up against, whoa, okay. Oh, and the mechanic research is complete. I think we ha may have just finished researching everything about the East Asian, which would be very exciting. Everything about the East Asian designs. See, and now we're gonna come and put a secondary path back over here, up along the back so that people can really get a great view of the pandas. And then if you wanna carry on to the panda shrine, you can go ahead and come on up. Ta-da! So cute! I'm so happy with this. I am so, so, so happy with this. And we're even gonna come in and change the barriers to glass. So we are going to alter some of the barriers to glass. So if you would like to see in and see what the pandas are doing, I don't think they would mind having so much of it be glass because like they've literally got this huge area to hide in and we can't really change the barriers to anything else just yet because we did research some new barriers. We learned about the Gabinion, but it is climbable. So they could just scurry right out if they wanted to. All right, so JV is visiting still. Uh, Didi has low welfare, social. Didi, are you lonely? He's climbing his, his, oh, Didi loves to climb. He is definitely a good climber. He'll be okay. He's, he's getting up there. He's getting there. All right, we have new mechanic research. We have discovered new barriers just literally as I was talking about how we don't have enough barriers. <gasps> Did we learn something good that will change like the way corrugated gates maybe? Glass with logs? Maybe we learned how to make them, huh? Maybe we, maybe we learned how to make them stronger, but alas, I don't have new barriers just yet. But all right, oh my gosh, Panda Mountain! Where's that panda baby? I want to celebrate more with the panda. Oh, there he is! Jada! He's so precious, you guys, look at him. He's just hanging out with On, and the flamingos are coming in to hang out too. I love that. I love that. What can we learn about him in his little Zoopedia? So let's see. That's reproduction. Natural habitat is a very small section of China. The species is threatened by habitat loss and fragmentation due to deforestation and urbanization. They are also poached for their fur. China has put a lot of effort into conserving the panda population, but it proves to be difficult due to the low fertility of the pandas, their reluctance to mate, and the vulnerability of their young. Oh, we will do our best to try to take care of the pandas. <gasps> Look and you can see, oh my gosh. You can see like who the largest in our zoo. You can see the largest and longest ever alive for everyone ever. That's so cool. Oh, and I can't wait to see how Dada grows up. He's just so precious. And he's actually bored of the fireball hose and the herb scent markers. So you know what we're gonna do for him? We're gonna come over and we are gonna try to entice our giant pandas to this side of the exhibit so that they can start entertaining people over here. <gasps> Bobbin enrichments, there's all sorts of new enrichments over here for them. We could put another set of wind chimes over. We could put another, we'll put another tree scatter feed over here. Cause I think that would be really good for them. So we'll put one over here. And there's a rubber pillar. Oh there, my gosh, there's like a little rubbing pillar so that they could scratch up against it. All right, we'll go ahead and put that over here because that's a new type of enrichment that should really make the pandas very happy because they're getting a little bored of some of their old enrichments. How's Didi? 
like he's getting bored of the fireball hose and the herb scent markers. So we're going to go ahead and find where the fireball hose went. And we're going to sell that because the pandas are getting bored of it. And now we can try to encourage them to use some of their new toys and hopefully end up being very, very happy, healthy pandas. All right. And we're going to spend more time with Dada for sure. But while it's dark and we can't really see what we're doing, what better time than now to go ahead and cover this? Let's see. There we go. And put down some bamboo. So while we literally cannot see anything, we're going to cover the side of this mountain at night in bamboo. Because that sounds perfect to me. I don't know about you guys. But I mean, that makes total sense. And this is going to be Panda Mountain. And then we have to put down the actual pieces too. I need to remember, we have to add... And we can adjust like the height and the depth that the bamboo is at too in just a bit so cool so freaking cool no 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 i don't want it sticking I, I i could tell the bamboo went on top of the other bamboo and that was not part of the plan but let's see if we can get this done before night falls we're building this together on header baby i'm so happy how many generations can we keep going and now we can start working on some of the other animals too. Because I know we've been with these guys for quite a while. But, I mean, our zoo is literally thriving in cash. <laughs> so I think we chose a very, very good thing to start with pandas. I didn't really like intentionally. I just saw them and was like, oh my gosh, yes, pandas. And thankfully, it turned out to be a very fruitful decision. So we can get some fountain bamboo in here. We want to be sure to rotate it. Oh, generations, guys. I am so thrilled about the idea of following them for literally generations of their lives. I hope little Don, Dada is happy. We'll go ahead and visit with him in a bit. Oh, I think the sun's rising. Go faster, Siri. Go faster. I really want to see how much we've managed to do. Okay, quick, grab the big bamboo. Big bamboo. Think big bamboo thoughts. Oh, come on, guys. The sun's rising. We can do this. Because we're going to have the cherry blossoms when the sun comes up. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, but get that, get that bamboo, like, down in here. Thank you. All right, there we go. Oh, no. I got it stuck in the wrong spot. Okay, and in there, and in there. Nice. And over there. Oh my gosh. I love how easy it is to move things in this. You can just decorate anything that your heart can think of. It's amazing. All right, sun's still rising. I still have a little bit of time to be absolutely awesome. This over here and then grab it. Alright, Bamboo Mountain. I think you and I have managed to make something beautiful. Nice. Patches I need to fill in for sure with more bamboo. There we go. The inspector. <gasps> Yay! Alright! The inspector is a little concerned about Panda Mountain. Matril and Fayad are starving. Uh, who are they? Did my flamingos have babies and I didn't notice? I think they may have. I think they may have had babies and I completely missed it. But here is the sun rising on Panda Mountain. We will definitely decorate that with even more bamboo and get it going. But look, guys. What a beautiful way to dedicate a space to our little pandas. Let's get this going down over here. Do I want it? Yeah, I want to put some cherry blossoms in here. That's just too pretty. There we go. And we'll add in, let's see. Oh yeah. That's very pretty. 
and we'll just be sure to get a few of them. Poking through the bamboo of different sizes. Not too many, because we want it to mostly be about the bamboo. But a few here and there that just really stand out are fine. That's so lovely. There. Okay. A couple more. Let's grab this one. I recognize when a tree needs a little help wiggling into place. Wow! Just in time! Look at the sunrise on this! Oh! Oh, I'm so happy. Look at the shrine of On. Hmm. We have a bit of work to make it a little tidier here and there and fill it in so the fountain bamboo can like come down, fill in some of these little gaps, get some more pieces over here. There we go. But now we'll have a way to really celebrate the creatures that are in our zoo forever. That is so pretty. That is just so pretty. All right, let's get the panda in here. So the panda mother sculpture, which is this big one, we'll go ahead and add another one for Dee Dee. So we'll put it right over here, I think. And this will be Dee Dee. And then over here, or we'll do Dee Dee over here and Dada over there. Because there's a little cub. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, what a cute little sculpture. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, we'll go ahead and do Didi and Dada with the, the little panda cub and the big panda. So this is going to be statue of Dada. There we go. And then right here, this is going to be statue of Didi. And one day Didi may end up having children of their own and we will be expanding this even further. Oh, perfect. All right, guys. Well, let's come on back down. We have a lot to do. Oh my gosh, this ended up This ended up breaking again. We have a lot to do and I want to make sure that we enjoy all of the time that we have with little Dada while he is little. But since we've got Panda Mountain now and since we have more of a layout to our zoo and since we're running into more and more mechanical issues and little things here and there, I think I definitely am interested in doing a lot more research. Thank you for that, Panda in doing a lot more research and making sure that we are upgrading things appropriately and transforming how some of Zudesia Zoo looks. We have been working so much with, oh, there was a little flamingo baby. We have been working so much with the pandas, but there's more to what we can offer to this zoo than just Panda Mountain and the little corner therein. We have Okapi, we have timber wolves who are going to need their forest. We have got like a whole savanna area we can start building. I want to make that little village right over here and then put in some of the exhibits. This is going to be like the little exhibits. This is gonna be so fun. I can't believe what we've created already. It's so beautiful. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for Dada, wherever he may be. Where are your children, eh? Eh? You should be able to see like whose parents are who. All right, is that him? <gasps> Look at his little waddle. Oh, he's precious. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!